Hi there, welcome to another painting tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can paint this cute goldfish with acrylic paint. So let's get started. And let's spray the paper. And if you want this sketch, you can just get it in the link below in the description of the video. Let's start with a size zero spotter. And I wanna get some black paint. And let's put in the eyes. So I'm going to do just a big black spot here for the eye. And then we'll do that for this eye. And I'm trying to see, we could do a little bit of some lining around that eye with this black paint. Okay, and then underneath here, I'm going to put a little bit of black paint to kind of make some gill shapes. Okay, and I'm going to rinse off the brush and I'm going to stick to another color that's a dark value. And I have some of this dark maroon and I want to add a little bit of this traditional orange color into it and see if that gives us a pretty dark red. And let's try to put in some dark orangey values. And I'm kind of going out here on the fin with this dark color. And then I can do that same thing on this side, just using the tip of the brush and kind of going over some of these lines here. And I'm trying to make sure that I have the right consistency with the paint so that it flows nicely. Okay, and then I'm going to take this dark and put it in the middle of the mouth. Okay, then we can come around this eye with this darker color. And we can go up on this line with a darker value. Just kind of covering some of these lines. And then we can go up here on this kind of a main fin and then try to press down to get some lines here along this little fin will come down towards the center and some of this some of these lines I can do a little bit more orange and some of them you can make a little bit more red so you can kind of play with your your color mixtures here the main idea is just getting some outline going and using the dark value to do that Okay, so this part here, there's some shadow. So I'm gonna put that in. And then see if you can blend it a little bit. Probably don't wanna blend with that brush. So I have another zero spotter that's a little bit stiffer. And let's see if I can use that to kind of blend out that line a little bit. So it looks like it kind of dried on me very quickly that's okay we'll just keep moving on so we'll come to this fin under here just using the tip of my brush trying to get some nice delicate strokes and we can do up here okay Now I'm going to take a the straight orange and I'm going to make a line right here. And then let's go around this eye very carefully with that bright orange. Okay. 
So we got a lot of the outlining done. Actually, I'm gonna pop a little bit of orange under here in the mouth. Okay, so let's go around that eye with a um, burnt sienna color. And I could even shift it a little bit more orange. But I love that color, that golden color of the burnt sienna. Let's see if we can carefully apply that around the black of the eye. Hoping that the black doesn't leak into it. And then we can do that to this eye. Really want that glowing effect. Take a little bit more burnt sienna. Okay, and then I'm just gonna kinda outline this little part of the eye. So there's also, I didn't really get this in the sketch, but there's two yellow spots of the fish around his eye, so I'm gonna put those in. They're just kind of around the eye right there. Might be kind of some nostrils. And then let's grab some of that darker value of the orangish red and see if we can outline those little spots as well. Okay, so let's grab a larger brush. I can take this size six filbert and let's put in some kind of mid-tones. So I have this lemon yellow and let's kind of water it down a little bit and let's add some of this yellow in in a few certain places. I do want it to be kind of all over the painting, so let's just apply it in some different areas. You can go around the eye with it. And we can go to this side. Whoops. Okay, so just apply that yellow. Okay, and then the next color I would do is some orange. So let's take a little bit of orange and mix it with some of this lemon yellow to get a lighter orange shade. And let's see if we can add that in. Okay, so then I'm gonna have to kind of blend that because it's fairly, it's presenting fairly dark, depending on how much water you have mixed in there. Okay, so I'm just kind of putting this mid-tone orange in. And let's put it over this area. So I'm going right on top of that um, darker red that we use for an outline. And I kind of want it to look like um, gossamer towards the ends. So I'm not going to add any um, outline towards the ends, edges and the ends of the fins. Okay, so we're getting pretty abstract. But this orange color for th from the water, it's like looks like an orange soda. Okay, so just apply that kind of like that. Okay, so at this point, um, you could let that dry if you wanted to. Let's actually take a rich orange and add it. Let's see, I wanna add it 
to this area here and then I want to add it over to this side. So I'm kind of going back and looking at the areas that are a little bit darker. Just add another layer of mid-tone in some of these dark areas. Okay, maybe under here. All right. Kind of going around the eye a little bit. Then around that nose or that um, cute mouth. Okay, <laughs> I think that's a good, I think we're making good progress here. So I want that to dry. And then we're going to add some white layers on top of here. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'll start at the bottom here. Oops. So let's take this titanium white, which is a very opaque white. And let's go underneath. So this is important because we're really going to build form here. So I'm going to go and put this underneath his mouth. And then we're going to come over the mouth. And then there's another layer over that. And then another little layer on top of that. And then underneath the belly, he's got a lot of white. And then we have white around this eye. So see if you can carefully curve in the white of that eye. And then same thing for the other eye. Leave a little bit of that burnt sienna. And then we can kind of, there's a white line around here and here. Okay, and then around this area, we'll add a little bit of white. Then let's see if we can make some little white marks to be kind of like the scales. And try to do this very carefully in a random pattern. Try not to make it too exact, which I am very tempted to do. And then there's underneath here, there's some scales that we could kind of flare out with the white paint on some of these fins. Kind of make some highlighted areas. Okay. And then around this eye, we have a little mark here that will come around here to make a white gill. Up here there's some white. And then this part is kind of white for the the gill as well. Then the underbelly has more little scales underneath it. Okay, so I'm going to take that zero spotter. I'm going to take this burnt sienna. I'm going to do another layer around his eye. Just to clean it up a little bit. Same thing for this eye. And then let's take some opaque white and let's put the highlight of the eye very carefully so that got a little bit too watery Oh, 
Okay. All right, so then you can go back and kind of add any other details that you wanted to add. Probably wait for this to dry a little more and then really try to put a better highlight in the eye. Okay, and you could go back and do any more glazing that you wanted to do. I have this kind of neon orange. So we could try to put that in over some of these white areas if we wanted to. That's just going to make a nice glowing effect. Okay. And I'm going to take a little bit of dark orange. I'm going to bring that around this eye to kind of refine that eye a little bit just to make it a little bit smaller. Okay. And maybe a little bit smaller still. Okay, so we're just thinking about the proportions with that eye. Okay. Then I'm just going to put a little bit more orange around the mouth as well. Okay, so I think we will call this goldfish complete. I hope you get to paint along with me and give this a try. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next painting tutorial. Bye!